Adventure Express is an aerodynamics mine train that opened in 1991 at Kings Island in Mason, Ohio. It's located in the newly rethemed Adventure Port section of the park, along with a teacup style ride and a Zamperla Endeavor called Soul Spin that both opened in 2023. This also brought along a bunch of new theming during the ride and in the queue line for Adventure Express. Kind of has a vibe very similar to Jungle Cruise now at the Disney parks with an old radio broadcast telling you about the journey you're about to embark on and various adventure accessories surrounding the station especially. This is one of the newer era mine trains so it has your more standard lap bar restraints and more comfortable padding compared to older models such as River King Mine Train at Six Flags St. Louis. The ride also got an updated entrance for the 2023 season with some ruins on either side right next to Soul Spin instead of the weird placement inside of Oktoberfest like it was before 2023. The ride stats are pretty basic for a mine train with a height of 63 feet, speed of 35 miles per hour, and a length of 2,963 feet. Now that we got stats out of the way, let's see how it rides. The ride has a slight drop into a right turn out of the station, where you go down track 2 instead of track 1, which was said to be permanently abandoned in the queue line. You make another turn into a slight drop through a tunnel before making another sweeping turn into another tunnel where the first lift hill is. As you reach the top, you can get some pretty good views of Flight of Fear's show building before making a sweeping drop to the right and rising back up to the left over one of the many tunnels during the ride. You make another drawn out right turn where you can see some monkeys messing with some exploration gear. You then make a long drawn out left turn through some archway ruins and this is also probably the jankiest part of the ride. You head into yet another tunnel with some dim lighting and snakes inside before emerging back into another turn leading into a slight drop right into the grand finale. This grand finale is another lift hill enclosed in another tunnel with some figures on either side of you moving their arms up and down and someone saying you have disturbed the temple and now you will pay. You end up just going to the break run with a great view of Banshee's first drop. Overall, Adventure Express is a fun, but honestly kind of underwhelming experience by the end. There's all this build up to a final drop, possibly similar to a tunnel drop on River King Mine Train, but then it just ends. It's still got some really solid theming for a mine train, but its jankiness coupled with not really having any big drops kind of brings this ride down for me. Of the major coasters at Kings Island, I only have it above in Vertigo, as there are much better coasters here, even family coasters like Backlot Stunt Coaster. The new theming does definitely help though, and it's still a ride I do about every other visit, as long as there isn't a huge wait. As you can probably tell, I do prefer River King Mine Train to this, but this is certainly better than Thunderation at Silver Dollar City, due to that ride being really rough. It's still a fun ride for the family, you should definitely check it out if you haven't been to Kings Island before but I would definitely prioritize some others before this. Be sure to subscribe for more content and be on the lookout for more coaster reviews and other theme park videos in the near future.